All along the Washington coast, there are people who are profoundly connected to both the waterfront and their heritage. Going back generations, they have relied on the water for their livelihood. It has provided them with food, jobs, and access. Oftentimes, the water is what brought them to the Northwest in the first place. There are fishing boats that have been in operation for decades, passing from family to family. This pride in both the waterfront and its history means that these people know exactly where they come from and are willing to fight fiercely to preserve that history. Walking around Gig Harbor, the pride in their roots is vastly evident. Our tour guide knew every family's house by name and pointed out to us places where history had been lost. A monument at Town Center dedicated to those lost at sea represents their dedication to their craft, and the centrally located Scanzi Brothers Net Shed represents their pride. Many of the residents of Gig Harbor have lived there for generations and don't plan on leaving anytime soon. They're working hard to keep their heritage alive by bringing back traditional boat building techniques and making them accessible to the town's youth. The entire town is built facing the water, and it's the common thread in most of what goes on. The former mayor was a fisherman in Gig Harbor for most of his life. The access to the water is what ties this town together. Their relationships, communities, and even future growth are all dependent upon the harbor. The Washington coast deserves to be designated a national heritage area because of the proud people who already do all that they can to preserve the history that they are so connected to.